So we've talked about two different types of data that you can input into an Excel document. There's actually a few more. And I wanna talk just a little bit about one of the other types of data that you're gonna be inputting into an Excel spreadsheet. We've talked about alpha characters. That's our labels, right? Bills, we got our months along the top. We've talked about numeric values. All of these dollar amounts here eventually be formatted as currency that we've now input into our Excel spreadsheet. Now, another type of data that you're going to be working with inside of Excel are dates. So let's talk a little bit about dates. We've got some months. I mean, that's a portion of a date, right? That's a date value, but it's not a complete date, right? Dates, they typically contain three different aspects or three different elements that make up the date. You've got the day, day of the month, you got the month, and you got the year. So we really got those three pieces. Now, depending on what region you live in, your dates may be formatted a little bit differently. Do you do day first? Do you do month first? What does your years look like, right? There's lots of different ways to be able to format dates, but dates typically contain those three pieces of information. Now, let's say for our months here, maybe I'm gonna be using this one spreadsheet for multiple years, right? We got 2019, at least as of recording this video, maybe you're gonna go into 20, uh, excuse me, what is it, 2019, 2020, right? Or 2021, or maybe I'm gonna do a previous year with 2018 or whatever it might be, right? So I wanna designate, I wanna denote which year this month belongs to. So I'm gonna go up into my January, which is B3, and I'm just gonna double click into that cell. Double click, enters into that cell, I can now edit it. So I'm gonna say January hyphen, 2016, that's it right there. I'm gonna hit my tab key, hop out of that cell. Ooh, wait a minute. Two things just happened there. Do you see that? Let's try it again. I'm gonna double click into the C3 because I'm gonna do the same thing for February. So I'm gonna say hyphen 2016. Wait a minute, it's not 16 anymore, it's 2000. Man, <laughs> I'm way off. All right, this should be 19, right? 2019. I'm going to hit my enter key. There we go. What just happened there? There was two little things, right? Let's get back in and fix this one. This one should be 19. Ooh, that's weird. Double click that cell. Now I got 1, 1, 2016. I want to change that to 19. Hit my enter key. We got January 19. What just happened there? Let's do it for March. Hyphen 2019. Catching it? So we're now working with a date value. And how do we know that? Well, a couple of things happened. One, they're now right aligned. They are on the right-hand side of the cell. Remember that discussion? That's supposed to happen with numeric values. Well, you know what? Inside of Excel and most applications, dates are treated as numeric values. That's just the way it goes. They are numeric. You may have text in there like Jan, Feb, Mar, but underlining, they are numbers, right? You saw when I double clicked inside of there, you actually get a date format. Here I've got the uh, day, month, year, right? I go over into February, give that one a double click. Got the, oh, excuse me, a month, day, year. I said day, month, year. So I've got month, day, year inside of there, 2019. So we've now got some date values. Okay. Underlining once again, and I can see this up above here inside of my formula bar that we've actually got a date. It is right aligned, it is numeric, it's a date value, treats it as such, but underlining that is a date. Now, like I mentioned earlier, depending on what region you live in, your dates may be formatted differently. It's fine, however you wanna format them. Now, if you do this, Type in Jan hyphen 2019, hit your enter key, and it doesn't change it. I would take a look at your date settings or your date format. Now, what if I wanted to actually say 2019? Because right now it just says Jan 19. Is that January the 19th or is it January 2019? Right? I want that to be much clearer. So what I'm going to do here, and this is something we're going to get much more in depth into as we continue through and we start to get into the formatting section of this course is I want to format these cells. So I'm going to highlight B3 to D3. 
I'm going to go to my home tab, top of my screen, and I'm going to go into the number section. All right. Underneath number, we can currently see that it says custom. Typically, that'll say a general. If I go to any other cell out here, we'll see general inside of that box. There it is, general. Well, here, with that selected, I'm going to go up here to the little drop down. And we've got some default formatting options for us. We got, we do have some dates. We got short date, long date. It's not really what I want. I'm going to scroll down. We got a whole bunch of other stuff inside of there. But down at the bottom, we have an option for more number formats. I'm going to go into more number formats. Here, underneath category, I'll grab date. And here I'm going to find, oh, let's see. I want the month and year. So do we see one like that in there? Month and year. Let's see. Then that's someone. I want the abbreviated month. That one's looking pretty good, but I had it the other way around, right? And that's actually the, the day anyways. That's not what I want. Oh, here we go. All right. Now we got March hyphen 12, but I want it to say 2019, right? Do we have one like that in there? And that's the full month. That one's got the day in there as well. I don't want the day. Uh, I don't see the one that I want inside of there. Right? They got lots of variations on it, but I want it to say Jan 2019. Feb 2019. Right? I want that 2000 in there as well. So we do have some defaults that we can pick from, some preset date formats. But here, I'm going to go to custom. And let's see, do we have it in here? They got a bunch of default custom ones. So here's some dates. We got the month and the year. Nope, not seeing the one I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to where it says type. I'm gonna wipe out what's in there. I'm just gonna backspace or delete that out. And I'm gonna put my own custom date format in there. So I want it to be three letter abbreviation month. So I'm gonna do MMM, that's your month. You can even see a preview of it right there, Jan, hyphen, why, 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 why? 2019. So we got three M's for the month, hyphen, four Y's for the year. So we get the four digit year. I'll hit OK. And there we have it. Nice months. Got it spelled out to us. January 2019, February 2019, and so on. That was a few steps that we went through. Always feel free in any of the videos. You can always rewind. You can rewatch the videos, whatever you need to do. It's a few steps that we went through there. Or you can just leave it the way that you want or come up with another format. And if you do that, here we go. Ready for this? If you do that, if you change your format or if you're in another region, it should be formatted differently. Whatever you want to do, share it with us. Go to the Q&A section. Find the discussion board. It's just called Q&A, questions and answers. I'm right there. I love answering questions. I love seeing the work that my students do. Share it with us. Take a screenshot. Add it to the post. Let us know what you're doing. All right. So get this portion done. Get your dates in there. 2019, looking good. Then we'll jump into the next lecture. I'm excited. We're going to be getting into some formulas. All right, here we go.